but soft, what light through yonder window breaks. It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and, um, uh, kill th the envious moon. <sighs> who is already sick and pale with grief, that thou made art. Ah! That thou made. Uh, right, Miss McGrooney. That thou made art far more fair than she. I know, I'm special. The question is, what did the guy bring me? <laughs> His own girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no ice, no dice. <laughs> Cassandra. Uh, whatever. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Why does Cassandra get to say all those things to Harvey? Sabrina, it's just a play. And why is Miss McGrooney making such a big deal about it? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Maybe Miss McGrooney wishes someone was in love with her. Maybe no one ever has been. That's terrible. Someone should do something about it. I don't know, Sabrina. I was always told not to meddle in other people's personal lives. You're right. Then again, if Miss McGrooney had a personal life, I wouldn't need to meddle. But since she doesn't... And remember, when casting a spell, always be sure to put your heart into it. Like Romeo. I mean, Harvey does with me. Hey, that was supposed to annoy you. Sabrina! Oh, uh, right, love spells. <laughs> I mean, I love casting spells. I'm glad to hear it, Sabrina. But remember, we don't cast spells just for the fun of it. With great power comes great responsibility. I got that off a movie poster. Whenever you can, you must use your witchly powers to help others. To help others. What's with you? How am I supposed to enjoy spell class if I can't tease you and make you mad? Ugh! But how can I help Miss McGurney? Where can I find someone I can make fall in love with her? Mr. Weederspawn the gardener? Ugh, no way! Maybe Coach London. There's got to be someone for her. Whoa, whoa, uh, uh, oh. <sighs> Mr. Snipe, he's perfect. He's a teacher just like Miss McGrooney, and he's the only human-sized warlock in town. But creating love is tough. I'll need help with my spell. No, 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 and no. Never mix love and magic. Something always goes wrong. Come on, Salem. You always say you'll be there for me when I need you. I'm here for you, Brina, by keeping you out of some serious trouble. You won't help me? Fine. I'll just have to enjoy this scrumptious fish all by hey, myself. That wouldn't perchance be pickerel. It would, and if you... Ah! Mm -hmm. You were saying? I was saying that it's going to take me a long time to come up with a love spell if I don't have any help. And since you took the fish... Yes, but I didn't take the bait. The answer is still no. Fine, I'll just do it myself. Even though my friend said he'd help me, and even though it's dangerous... No way. Wild horses couldn't make me do it. The coast is clear. I never knew there were so many spells to learn. Give yourself a thousand years. You'll run through most of them. Oh. Zombification for fun and profit. Hmm, no love spells there. I wonder how we can narrow down our search. Now, what would a love spell book look like? Uh, kids today, no imagination. Salem, you found it! Once I've cast the spell, Mr. Snipe is gonna fall hard for Miss McGrooney. 
Oh, speaking of falling hard, any idea where I can get a good deal on an orthopedic tail? Infatuation, schoolgirl crushes, goo-goo eyes, it's all here! And maybe it should stay there. That's strong magic. If anything goes wrong, I can't promise we'll be able to fix it. Come on, Salem. What could go wrong? <coughs> Here goes nothing. Affection builds and passion stirs. Make his heart forever hers. Hmm. Maritza. Yeah? Do you notice anything different about Mr. Snipe? Maybe a few more nose hairs. He really needs to tweeze. No! I mean, does he look like a man who's in love? No, he looks like a man who's reading. All that work! And I still don't have anybody for Miss McGrooney. Okay, class. In Romeo and Juliet, what does Shakespeare have to tell us about the nature of love? Anyone? Harvey. Huh? <laughs> uh, a G, Miss McGrooney. You tell him, Romeo. Hands off, Cassandra. Well, um, it seems like when people are in love, a lot of them get killed. <laughs> While that may be true, Harvey, I don't think that was the writer's main point. Ah! Miss McGrooney, you okay? Uh, yes, Harvey. Thank you for asking. Huh? It's gotta be from him. What's going on? It's amazing! <laughs> Students, I... Shall be mine! Uh, Mr. Snipe! It worked! A heart from my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. McGrooney, is this part of the lesson? Yes, it's all a performance for your benefit. No door can keep me from the one I adore. Wow, I never knew our teachers were such good actors, especially Mr. Snipe. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what got into them. Wait, Miss McGrooney, please, oh, wait oh, oh. for your snipey boo. What have I done? Good question, though I shudder to hear the answer. Salem, oh, thank goodness you're here. Cat bones, fragile. Sorry. Do I sense an out of control love spell in the air? Um. Maybe a small one. How about a big kiss, my love? And who warned you not to mess with people's love lives? You did. Is there really no way to fix the spell? Now, I can't promise anything, but there is one thing we can try. Anything, please, please! Uh, Salem? Why are we moonwalking? Walking backwards is the only way to get anywhere around here. And where's here? It's known as the Backwoods, part of the gray area of the Netherworld. 
you have to do everything backwards here, which shouldn't be too big a problem for you. It's the only sure place to find a reversal spell strong enough to reverse your love spell. You are who? Didn't you phone ahead and tell them we were coming? Or would you have had to phone behind? Don't worry. Uh, the guy's name is the About Face. I hear he's not so bad. You hear? I thought this was a buddy of yours. Come on, just be your usual charming self. Thanks a lot. Come, you have why? Well, you see. Backwards. Oh, right. Or should I say left? Uh, spell reversal, uh, need I. Huh? Ah. Kind what? Would you mind hurrying up a bit? I've heard some of these beasts have a taste for tabby. If you think this backwards talking is so easy, you try it. Spell love uh, for reversal A. Problem no. <laughs> Request one number, my. Huh? <sighs> Out of here, get I wanna. Maybe they didn't get your notes. Bingo! Sabrina? Sabrina? Showtime! Mr. Snipe! Ah, my sweet sugar plum. Wait, stop! Sabrina, what does this note mean? Yes, Sabrina. You wrote that you had something to confess? Uh, the notes. Well, see, there was a this spell, and, well, I... Not meaning any harm, mind you. Ouch! Right, okay. It reverse shall I spell this with. Created had I love whatever. Sabrina, Sabrina what? what? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Mr. Snipe, are you okay? Yes. Was I acting oddly? Why are my pockets full of flowers? It worked! I did it! I did it! yoo -hoo. Pretty boy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh no! The reversal spell hasn't put things back to the way they were before. It's reversed who's in love with who. Whom? I can't wait to give you a big bear hug! What do we do now? No! Who can tell me what force makes two celestial bodies attract? Well, anyone? <laughs> well, if the celestial guy is a hunk, it's a start. <sighs> Flying heart cakes are so romantic. Is that a planetary thing? Oh, snipe! You fine thing. I'll be right back. Mwah! Oh, boy. Salem, help! You can listen to me when I tell you not to mess with love spells. I baked you a little something, Snookums. Uh, Miss McGrooney, <laughs> please. <laughs> 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 Looks like someone is sweet on Mr. Snipe. Uh, Miss McGrooney, please! How do I fix this? You have to ask for help. Ask who? Hilda and Zilda aren't home. <laughs> I can't ask Miss McGrooney because she's crazy in love. <gasps> I can't ask Mr. Snipe. 
It's just too humiliating. Well, nine out of ten warlocks agree. When things get too hairy, there's only one place to go. Enchantra's Castle. <gasps> Enchantra's Castle? Are you sure I need to go see the Queen of All Witches? Of course not. I just came all this way for the exercise. Maybe she's not at home? Then again... Something to tell me, Sabrina? Uh, nothing really important, Enchantra. Then why waste my time? I'm 3,000 years old and not getting any younger. Way to suck up to the Queen Bee. Better give her a compliment quick. Right. Um, you don't look a day over 2,000. What I meant was... What you meant was that you have been casting love spells and people are being hurt by them. She knew. Of course she knew. She's the queen of all witches. Yes, Sabrina. I was sorry to discover that a student witch has been playing with the hearts of others. I've had witches stripped of their powers for less. Please remind me whose idea it was to come here. However, you seem to have learned the error of your ways. Absolutely. And since you have shown courage by coming to me and trying to make things right, I offer a simple but not an easy solution. Sabrina, you must go alone to the one you first wronged. Mr. Snipe, oh no. Oh yes, and you must admit to him what you've done and ask his forgiveness and help. If you can secure his forgiveness and help, the toughest spell can be broken. Live with it, babe. Phew! Mr. Snipe! Go away! I'm not here! Oh, it's you, Sabrina. Uh, sorry, I thought you were someone else. Uh, Mr. Snipe, there's something I have to tell you. Yes? All of this weird love stuff with Miss McGroony, well, it's my fault. What? Well, uh, Juliet has Romeo, and I have Harvey, and, well, it looked like Miss McGroony didn't have anybody. So, you cast a love spell? I didn't mean to cause anybody any trouble, but it got a little out of control. You can't play with people's emotions, Sabrina. It's not right or fair to them. And someone usually gets hurt. I know that now. But I know you were just trying to help. No hard feelings. Oh, thank you, Mr. Snipe. It'll never happen again. But what about Miss McGroney? I have an idea. First, I'll need to know that love spell you used. Ready? Ready! Miss Magruni! I'm here, and I'm yours! <laughs> Affection wanes and passion, and passion quiet. quiet. From, From this spell, her heart, heart untied. I hope it worked! Oh, 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 what am I doing here? Snipe, how did all this clutter get in here? You better get it cleaned up and fast. Thanks, Mr. Snipe. How can I ever repay you for being so understanding? You can start by cleaning up this classroom. I guess that's only fair. Fair isn't the half of it. Hey, Sabrina, get me out of here. Are you still here? Sabrina! Oh. 